Hi everyone, now we're going to look at these two definitions and the difference between them. And in many articles and the data you'll get in the exam and in newspapers, you read about the budget deficit sometimes, very rarely a budget surplus, and you'll also read about national debt. And you need to understand what these are and the difference between all of them. And a budget deficit or surplus, budget first of all, this is about government spending and it's also about taxation. So it's about how much the government chooses to spend and in our aggregate demand, that's G. And taxation is how much tax revenue governments are receiving. All the different forms of taxation they might be receiving. So for example, there's income tax in the UK. There's also value added tax, VAT, which is paid on goods and services. There's corporation tax that's paid by firms. They're just some examples of types of tax that are paid in the UK. So the government will be receiving taxation and they'll also be spending, their government spending, which is G. If you're looking at a budget deficit or a budget surplus, the way that you work this out is by looking at the difference between how much the government is spending and how much they're receiving in taxation. So if government spending is more than the amount of money that they receive in tax revenue, we say that we have a budget deficit. A deficit where you're missing something, you don't have enough. So if the government is spending more than they're receiving in tax revenue, it's a budget deficit. On the other hand, if the government are spending less than they're collecting in tax revenue, we have a budget surplus. And for some time in the UK, we've had a budget deficit. The government is spending more money than they're receiving in tax revenue. And the big thing to remember here, if we're talking about a budget deficit or surplus, this is being calculated in any one year. So you're asking in this year, how does government spending compare to the tax revenue that's being collected in? It's in that one year. National debt is something that we're looking at over time. This is, we say, cumulative. If something's cumulative, we're adding on to it more and more and more, or taking away from it. But you're looking at what it's like over a long period of time. Whereas a budget deficit or surplus is just what's happening in any one year. And national debt is the total amount of money owed by a government. So they may well have been having budget deficits where they're spending more than they're receiving in tax revenue. So they need money from somewhere, they have to borrow money. So they borrow money and this means that they then owe that money. If the next year there's another budget deficit, that means they owe even more money. If then the next year there's another budget deficit, they owe more money. Your national debt would be getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You can then, as a government, you can pay off some of your national debt so that your national debt decreases. And if you look online, you can Google the National Debt Calculator for the UK. And this will show you the enormous number, which is the national debt that we have in the UK. And of course, if you borrow money, the government must pay interest on the money that is being borrowed. So this, if they don't pay all of the interest all the time, it's going to be adding up and up and they'll be paying even more interest on even more interest because they haven't paid back the interest. So it will all be mounting up. If in a year the government has a budget surplus, they might choose to use some of the spare tax revenue to pay off some of the national debt. 
And you can see here that if we have a national debt, something has to be done if we want to repay it. Either the government will need to spend less money or the people and the businesses will need to pay more tax so that they can try and get a budget surplus and then use the money to pay off the national debt. So this can really affect future generations if we have a large national debt. Although there is more being written about this, some economists think that perhaps it doesn't matter if we have a large national debt, but that's something for another time. So the main thing to remember here is that a budget surplus or a budget deficit is looking at government spending and taxation in any one year, whereas national debt is looking at government spending and taxation, but over time. This is cumulative.